the power of being blunt, and I'm not talking about LeGarrette blunt. I'm not talking about the spliffs that Bob Marley used to smoke. I'm not talking about the blunts that you buy in Washington Square Park, nor am I talking about anything else. I'm talking about fucking being blunt. I'm talking about laying it on the line of what you're looking for. And that, to me, is the true definition of what a man really is. I don't think there's enough men running around this world. I think there's a lot of men that walk around with manginas because their mom have just fucking taken their dick and fucking mashed it to pieces. I think a lot of kids have been mothered to death so much that when they become a man, they really become pussies when it comes down to relating with women. They're always looking for validation and confirmation from a woman. And to me, being a man means that you're blunt. You see, our job as a man is to take a woman on a romantic journey. And that's what it's about. Our job as a man is to convey what we're looking for in a relationship. Our job as a man is to fucking listen to a woman. But most importantly, our job as a man is to tell a woman what we like. Because women are pleasers in general. You know, you tell a woman that you love, that you're not into lingerie, right? And you love when she wears a button-down shirt and no bra. And you know what? She'll, she'll, come, up, she'll come to your house with a button-down shirt and no bra all the time. You know, because she wants to turn you on. And it comes down to it, the more blunt you are, the more honest you are. And I'm talking about from everything. From when you go out on, on a date and you tell a woman, you know, at, you know at the, on a date. And this is the thing, it took me a lot to learn. I remember my 20s, I was always telling women all the time, I want a relationship, I want a relationship, I want a relationship. And of course, you know, they would hear that and then they would come and being a 20-year-old fucking 23, 24-year-old girl, she'd go and sleep with me way too fast and... I didn't want a relationship, I just wanted to have sex. Now, something I learned, excuse me, throughout my entire life was the more blunt you are, the more of a turn on it is for women. So if you're not looking for a relationship, and I've told this story a lot, if you're not looking for a relationship, don't fucking tell her you're looking for a relationship, okay? If you're going out on a date with her and you're not ready for a relationship right now, look at her and say, listen, I gotta fucking tell you something, okay? I wanna be honest with you and I wanna be forthright with you. I think you're awesome. I think you're amazing. I think you're absolutely beautiful. I'm very attracted to you. I think, you know, uh, I think you and I can do many wonderful things with each other in the bedroom. I said, but I said, right now, I said, I'm getting a feeling from you by the way you're speaking that you're looking for a relationship. I'm not right now looking for a relationship. As a matter of fact, I got too much on my plate right now, work-wise and personal-wise, to really commit to, to commit to a relationship and to give somebody the time that they need because a relationship takes work and it takes both people being on the same page. Honest, right? But if you are open to having a sexual relationship right now, then great. You see, to me, the power of saying that gives her the option to make a decision, okay? Secondly... You don't fucking burn somebody that one day can be your girlfriend. Because here's what's happened. Let's say you got on this date with this beautiful woman, okay? And she is into you. She thinks you're the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread. You know, she thinks you're Wonder Bread and fucking Jif, you know, and Skippy Peanut Butter and fucking Grape Jelly. I mean, you're the greatest thing in the world. If you weren't honest with her, she'll end up sleeping with you because she has feelings with you. But then, of course, you didn't really want to have a relationship, so then you blow her off. So what happens is you get this great woman who's pretty fucking pissed off and angry. You're never going to get another chance with her ever again because you basically lied to her. So six months down the road, you see her again. And at that point in your life, you're done fucking around. Your business is settled. You know, your kid that was driving you nuts is no longer driving you nuts. You've established a better relationship with your ex and you feel in a better space to have a relationship. And then you run into her and think to yourself, this was probably the coolest woman I've met in years. And you walk over to her and she throws a drink in your face because you were a fucking asshole to her, because you didn't treat her right. So if you tell a woman the story of you're not looking for a relationship and she decides not to sleep with you, you've left the future door wide open. And that's the key, because if you think about dating in today's modern culture, if you leave the future door wide open, what happens is you have the opportunity to do what? You have the opportunity to go and create the relationship with her in the future and you leave those good feelings, those amazing feelings that she's feeling intact because she'll remember you as one of the few honest guys, not the golden retriever that was humping her fucking leg when he drove her, when he dropped her off at her house, you know, not the guy that was trying to come up at 12 o'clock for a cup of coffee, you know, when she told him she was tired, not the guy that was sending her fucking dick pics, Jesus Christ, do not send fucking dick pics. 
holy shit, there's nothing pretty about a fucking dick, you know? I mean, you know, unless you put your dick and put a wig on your dick and color the fucking balls a different color, then maybe you can send a dick pic, right? But you're being honest, and that's the key here. Honesty is the hottest thing, and it's what's lacking. Honesty equals authenticity. Authenticity equals a relationship. Authenticity equals something that's going to last. So look towards the future. Don't have limited mindset. There's plenty of women that want to just have sex. There's plenty of women that just want to have experiences. There's plenty of women that want to have relationships. Just be honest with what you're looking for so then she can make that decision and not you look like the asshole.